you most about the way you guys won that game? Uh, well, of course, those two rounds in the in a, in a second quarter and a fourth quarter, uh, second quarter and fourth quarter was really, really good for us. Um, they scored 15, no, 18. How many points in the second quarter? 19. 19? Good. What was working in those two periods in particular? Probably defense. I just said 19 points, and uh, we get easy, 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 easy points and on, the, on, the, on the other end. So probably that, that was the most important thing for us in that stretch. <clears throat> What, uh, what, what's the zone that you would describe Jamal in right now? He's, yeah, he's playing amazing. I think he's uh, he's definitely showing that what he's capable of, and uh, he's he's our he's our best player, and we are following him right now. Um, he's he's bringing the energy, he's bringing the the toughness. So everybody's following him. So hopefully he can do that. What about Angel? Oh, sorry. Uh, AJ, uh, Aaron Gordon. <laughs> Are we asking the same question? Yes. Okay. About Aaron Gordon, how was this yeah. game tonight? What, what did he do? Um, I mean, I, uh, I'm great. He 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 punished them when he when he was open. He guarded them really well. Uh, you know, of course, you're not gonna stop anybody, or especially not KD or or, or Booker. But he just uh, just to be there, just to, you know, KD scored 20, 29 in, in, in 19 shots or something. So. We know we know he's capable of, of, of scoring big, and but just being being there, just being there uh, to contest bigger body, bigger whatever. Probably he doesn't see him, but uh, he's doing a good job, you know. Did it feel like you were in the right place at the right time a lot tonight in terms of rebounding? No, I think I miss uh, my my put. Uh, that's how I get most uh, offensive rebounds. I miss the. <laughs> The layups, so that's how I, I think I get. That's how I get the most rebounds. But uh, I think we control defense and rebound a lot, and that, that can, whenever we control that 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 segment of the game, I think we, we win the game. You guys had like 16 or 18 turnovers, 14 steals. How were you be able able to be so dominant defensively? I mean, I mean, we have we have we have a uh, Bruce who is really good on the ball, KCP who is really good on the ball, AG who is really good on Christian who is with really, Jamal. So we have a uh, guys that. Uh, that we know we are not, we're not gonna, they're not gonna, they're gonna score, you know. But we just to make them tough, just to make them uh, work for every every point. How much has Bruce helped you guys off the bench so far in the playoffs? Uh, he's, I think he's playing great. He's the guy who can go downhill and create advantage. Uh, and with that, he's the floater, just go go straight to the to the to the rim. Uh, just by uh, just by getting by the guy, he's bringing a help. So that, that's that's uh, that's advantage for us, and he he's helping us a lot offensively, defensively. He's uh, he's he's been amazing since day one, and he's continuing to do the, that uh, the whole season. The whole season. Earlier this week, you mentioned that you th you thought the battle between you and Nathan was going to be fun. Was it fun out there tonight? <laughs> yeah, we fight a little bit, but it's normal, you know. I, I always say I respect his game, and I really uh, how, how how efficient he is, and. Uh, he knows his spots and he knows where to be. So I, I really uh, appreciate, not appreciate. I really admire his game. Nicole, early in the uh, third quarter, I think Jamal fed you a couple times, a couple pick and rolls. He also threw one over the top to you when you had that one on one. How do you, do you guys communicate it? Do you say, hey, I have something, or does he just inherently know that you have something? I mean, you know, probably I was just open or whatever. I don't know. I run one fast break uh, uh, for the dunk. And then he gave me a woman and pick and roll, you know. So I got another woman pick and roll. But probably, you know, he's reading the game and uh, he's reading the game really well right now. So I'm going to be there for him, hopefully. Are you ready for those behind the backs on the pick and roll? Too? Yes, yes. All angles. Mm -hmm. yeah. I was going to say we talk so often about your teammates being ready for your passes. Are you always ready for Jamal's passes to you? Yes, I mean I, I, we talk that like I'm I'm I'm, I'm going to always be ready for the pass, you know. So when, when, even if he jump in here, I'm going to be ready, and we know that. Uh, you know they're going to play better in game two. How do you sort of mentally prepare for that? Um, just we know, we know they're going to go out there and, and try to, to try to be more aggressive and try to maybe make the game a little bit rough. Uh, but we know we, we know what to expect. You know. Maybe they're going to change the lineup, maybe not. We will see. Having all the playoff experience you have now, have you noticed a game of a series being the toughest? Like is game two or game one? Or? Yeah, to be honest, I respect. I I, I expect to every game be tough, so it's not something that surprised me.